It's following the cup holder. The cup holder has several pivot points. You can see by this little button, you can tilt the angle of the cup holder so you can mount it onto multiple spots and make sure that the cup holder itself is still level with the ground so your drink doesn't spill out. It's a simple ratchet system. So we recommend putting it on the armrest, but there are other locations. You can put it on the backrest, you can put it next to your seat, you can put it on the uh, footrest. There are multiple spots. I prefer my cup holder on the armrest opposite the joystick, so I can drive with one hand and drink with the other. So you're gonna fit the strap through and you're gonna push and you'll hear a click and you will click, click, click to tighten it. Installing the phone holder. The phone holder comes completely assembled, so it's ready to go on your chair. You're gonna unswivel the arm. You'll see the thumb screw. We recommend you put that on the opposite armrest of your joystick, and you're going to twist to tighten it to secure the phone holder to your chair. Once it's secured to your chair, you can bend the twist arm. You can also reposition it horizontal, uh, landscape, portrait, whatever your heart desires. Pull open the four brackets, squeeze them together around your phone. You will notice a couple dials on the back, righty tighty lefty loosey, tighten those up to secure your phone in the position you desire. Putting on the super loud horn. There are many places you can do it. We recommend right on the bracket that holds the joystick. You're gonna notice a little stretchy rubber that there's two clips on the super loud horn. So you're gonna put one end of the rubber on the one clip and you're gonna run it through the joystick holder and you'll notice the other clip on the other side that will secure it to the joystick holder. I like putting mine right by the joystick so the buttons are there, the horn's there, it's easy to touch if I need to alert somebody that I'm there. Then I like to stretch the button that actually pushes the horn. I like to attach that to the quick connect under the armrest so I can slip my hand down and push the button quite easily. But this is just a suggestion. You don't have to put it there. You can put it wherever is convenient for you. Installing the headlight. You'll notice a little lever underneath the headlight. If you push that, you can slide the headlight out of the clamp that attaches it to the chair. You could also use it as a flashlight if you'd like. Undo the twist knob at the back. This will free up the strap that you're going to use to go around the oval frame of your mag shock. Undo the strap, loop it through the mag shock. We recommend you put it on the front part of the chair because it is a headlight, so this will allow you to see where you're going. You're going to feed the strap through, and then you're going to take the twist knob, put it back on, and as you twist to tighten it, it is going to manually feed that strap through and tighten the strap. So just keep tightening the spin knob until it's tight, and then you will see it secure on your chair. Then you can take your headlight and slide it back in the track of the chair. Once you slide it in to the track, you will hear a little click. So make sure you keep pushing it onto the track to hear it click. Then you know it's secured to the chair. There is a 360 degree swivel. So you can turn and point the headlight in whatever direction you want. Then once you have it pointed, hit the button to turn on the light. You can also hit the button to cycle through all the different modes. Installing the taillight. You'll notice two straps on the taillight. One strap has a plastic hook on it, and the other strap has a connector to go on that plastic hook. Super easy to install. You're just going to wrap it around the back frame of your chair and loop the strap onto the hook. To turn it on, you'll see the power button in the middle of the headlight. Push that. 
And to cycle through the different modes, just keep pushing the headlight. To turn it off, just push and hold, and that turns the light off.